साइन एक्स प्लस साइन टू एक्स तो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द क्वेश्चन वन थिंग यू ऑल नो वॉट इज दैट यू ऑल नो दैट साइन टू एक्स इज टू साइन एक्स कॉस एक्स सो राइट दैट वन अपॉन साइन एक्स प्लस टू साइन एक्स कॉस एक्स नाउ आई कैन सी दैट आई कैन टेक साइन एक्स कॉमन इफ पॉसिबल देन आई विल टेक दैट now what as i can do now here is the important step you have this cos x whose derivative is sin x okay now you are getting sin x not in numerator but in denominator so what i will do in the next step is multiply numerator and denominator by sin x now this will become sin square x 1 plus 2 cos x now this sin x in numerator will act as a derivative of cos x and with a minus sign of course this sin square x can further be written in the form of cos x as you all know so in numerator i have my sin x dx in denominator i have sin square x that is 1 minus cos square x and i also have a 1 plus 2 cos x now 1 minus cos square x can further be written as 1 plus cos x and 1 minus cos x and this 1 plus 2 cos x can remain as it is and sin x dx also as it is now my state is set to substitute cos x as t derivative of cos x you all know is minus sin x so if i were to write sin x dx so that will be my minus d so sin x dx is uh, minus dt so my integral converts to what minus dt 1 plus t one minus t 1 plus 2t now again this is a new question for me because i can start fresh from here to solve this uh, integration on partial fraction 
सो दिस इज अव क्वेश्चन फॉर मी विच इज डी टी वन प्लस टी वन माइनस टी एंड वन प्लस टू टी सो आई हैव दिस वन अपॉन रेदर माइनस वन अपॉन वट वॉज देर वन प्लस टी वन माइनस टी एंड वन प्लस टू टी दिस आई कैन राइट एज ए अपॉन वन प्लस टी बिकॉज ऑल थ्री आर लीनियर प्लस सी अपॉन वन प्लस टू टी repeat now i can take lcm so with a i will get uh, 1 minus t 1 plus 2t with b i will get uh, 1 plus t and 1 plus 2t and with c i will get uh, 1 plus t and 1 minus t in denominator i will get 1 plus t 1 minus t and 1 plus 2 now i can see that this denominator is getting cancelled what i am left with is minus 1 is a constant in lhs and this uh, heavy looking thing in rhs now one by one i will try to eliminate things so what i will do for that i have my equation i don't want to write this once again uh for uh, your sake of uh, looking nice i am just uh, removing this so that i get next step also here because this denominator i have already cancelled so no need to write this once again so let's get rid of this part fine now uh first of all i am putting T S one, T S one. So what will that do? The moment I will uh, put T as one, this bracket will become zero because uh, one minus one is zero. Then uh, the last bracket will also become zero. So if I put T equals to one, no change in L H S. That will remain minus one. First and third bracket is gone. and second bracket if if i put t as 1 i will get b into 1 plus 1 is 2 and uh, 2 plus 1 is 3 so 6b equals to minus 1 so b i am getting as minus 1 by 6 okay now put another value which eliminates uh, one of the things so if you put t as minus 1 so put t as minus 1 so the moment you put t as minus 1 uh, if i look at the brackets uh, t as minus 1 t as minus 1 so this bracket goes down second one and the third one also goes down. so only first bracket remains lhs again same 
a into minus one minus uh, wait uh, one minus minus one so two here so a into two and one minus two that is minus one so minus one here so this minus minus cancel one equals to two a so a you are getting as half okay fine now the third bracket for third bracket what i will have to do now this uh, factor i have to eliminate okay so if i put uh, t as uh, minus 1 by 2 if i put t as minus 1 by 2 so what will that do minus 1 equals to this bracket will uh, go uh, vanish away because 2 into minus half is minus 1, 1 minus 1 is 0 and so will be this bracket. So first two bracket gone, third bracket if you look at, so c into 1 minus half and minus minus plus, so 1 plus half from the second bracket. So minus 1 you are getting as 1 minus half is half and this is nothing but uh, 3 by 2. 3 by 2 into half that is 3 by 4 so c into 3 by 4 so c you are getting as minus of 4 by 3 fine no problem now you have got a you have got b you have got c if i move to the previous page a as half so in the previous space or this space only I had this thing, okay. so let's move to the next page, okay. so this is white world, so I have got A as and B as and C as, so I have got A as half minus 1 by 6 and minus 4 by 3, half minus 1 by 6 and minus 4 by 3. So my integral of, uh, what was that, minus of, no I took the entire integral, okay, so not the minus of, this was uh, minus, minus dt divided by 1 plus t, 1 minus t and 1 plus 2t. That came out to be a divided by 1 plus t. So a is half, denominator I will have 1 plus t. plus b divided by 1 minus t so plus will change to minus 1 minus t in denominator and again c so 4 by 3 and 1 plus 2 t now remember one thing you have taken look at this carefully you have taken minus sign also here so don't uh, put an extra minus sign because minus minus will become plus. So this is what we have to solve. So because we have integrated LHS, so integrate RHS also, put here our uh, dt. Okay. Now we can easily solve integration of 1 upon 1 plus t is log of mod 1 plus t. Because it's a linear factor, so directly we can integrate. And here also you will get minus 1 by 6 log mod 1 minus t minus 4 by 3 log mod 1 plus 2t. But here you have to be careful in the third term and the second term because the coefficient of t here was 1 so we divided by 1 no problem. Here coefficient of t is minus 1. So if we divide by minus 1, so that uh, this becomes plus 1. Here 
the coefficient of t is 2 so you will have to divide by 2 so division by 2 so this will get cancelled and you will get only 2 in numerator so I am removing this 4 and you will get a 2 because division by 2 that will give you okay. now t was my thing t was not already given in the question t I substituted what cos x so back substitution so this is 1 by 2 log mod 1 plus cos x plus 1 by 6 log 1 minus cos x and minus 2 by 3 log mod 1 plus 2 cos x and because it's an indefinite integration so plus c I can write in the next so this was a question an interesting one lot of things to learn from this question ok so first of all the formula of sin 2x which I use then I took sin x out then I multiplied in numerator and denominator by sin x why because you know that derivative of cos x is minus sin x then uh, I wrote this sin square x as 1 minus cos square x then I written this 1 minus cos square x 1 plus cos x 1 minus cos x I took cos x as t so as to get sin x dx as minus dt this uh, was a question of partial fraction then then I did the partial fraction, got A as half, B as minus 1 by 6 and C as minus 4 by 3. Next, uh, I integrated using these values. Okay, and then back substituted T as cos x to get my final. So, I hope you really enjoyed this video. Apart